let's talk DNA. Well, it's been a while since I've brought this topic up here and that's because I kind of am going through a slump of not wanting to look at my family tree stuff at the moment. And that's because I've spent quite a bit of time over the past sort of year and a bit trying to understand my DNA. And now that I've figured out, you know, who my real grandfather was, then reaching out to the family that I'm connected to. And I've tried to do this a couple of times and I've told you about it in the past. And then, um, and there's also stuff I haven't told you because... Um, there was stuff that I did with relation to this that I just thought, I don't know if that's weird, I don't know if I should put it out there, it might offend the family in some way and they might not want to get to know me. Um, so I've avoided the topic with you. But the reality is I have to talk about it. I'm feeling like I need to talk about it. I tell you guys everything, so I'm just going to talk about it. <laughs> um, I'm listening to a podcast at the moment and I always listen to it. It's a genealogy podcast. And today they're talking about like stories and the way people pass stories down. Um, and I, I realise that I don't have any stories from that side of my family. Um, all my stories are from my gramps, my grandpa, um, who's not my biological grandfather. But it's interesting because the today's episode also talked a lot about the fact that, you know, you're in a place and the moment in time is happening and then you might make a connection with someone, have a relationship, have a child, and then new life is born and from there you know heaps of people come along and it's it's just such a weird sensation when I say heaps of people you might only have one child but if your child has two or three then you know people from the 1700s like heaps of generations underneath them now and like loads of people that of course they didn't imagine were coming and like for us if we have kids then you know we might imagine that we might have grandkids or we might imagine we might have great grandkids one day but we don't really think about what will happen six or seven generations from now, I don't think. <laughs> and I just find that fascinating because, I don't know, I, I want to know about all the people in my life. <sighs> so anyway, I did go and watch my my mum's half-brother play in his band. Do you remember a while back I said I was going to buy a ticket and go and see him? Or at least I was thinking about it. I was umming and ahhing and I asked you guys if I'd look like a stalker or not. Anyway, I went. I didn't tell you about it because I was hoping that we might make a connection from it. And um, I didn't want to make it weird by like putting it on social media. But the reality is that um, I went. I bought tickets with a friend, with a few friends actually. We all went together. They'd been to see his band play before. I hadn't. Um, and I decided to write him a letter, which at the end of the night I gave to him. He was... Um, on the stage and I just decided to take this letter up. Well, when I say that, that's really cool, calm and collected. I actually was not cool, calm and collected at all. I was nervous as hell because I didn't want to do the wrong thing. I didn't want to stuff it up for my mum, you know, reach out to him and then my mum not have an opportunity to meet him because he thought I was a bit cray cray or something. <laughs> anyway, I'll never know whether he thought I was cray cray or not because I didn't hear back. I'm emotional about it. Um, today's episode on the podcast made me think about it a lot. I've since tried reaching out again a different way and no answer. So I just have to give up on it and be patient and let them come around whenever they'd like to, you know. But um, he was excellent. <laughs> he was a really good drummer. <laughs> and I enjoyed the night that we went and watched the band. Um, they, yeah, they were really good. I got some footage. I don't want to put it on here because I don't want... I don't know, I feel a bit awkward about um, identifying him because he clearly just isn't in the right place to want to be identified as my uncle. So I won't put it on here, but um, he was cool. And I did take the video and send it to my mum. It was dif difficult to see him because he's a drummer and he's behind the singer. So I must have looked a little bit crazy <laughs> trying to film. Um, I had already like looked him up on, on Facebook and stuff and I had identified... A woman who I thought was his wife and um, she is I think and um, she was there and I recognized her but I was too embarrassed to go and say something to her now I kind of kicking myself a bit about that but that's all right um, but at the break time I saw him smile at her and like he was looking around the crowd trying to find her you know and when he found her he was just like and he, he just had this look on his face that was told me he was a nice man so 
hopefully that means we come from nice people <laughs> but yeah um so i just thought i'd touch base on that because i'm thinking about it today and i am you can tell my eyes are like gonna pop water any second <laughs> but that's because i had an emotional afternoon at school not anything to do with this well maybe to do with this a little bit but <laughs> anyway rambling um <laughs> So yeah, at the end of the night, I looked a little bit like a loser and went up like a, like, I don't know, what do you call those people? Like a, like a groupie or something. My friends were with me and they knew I had written the letter. They knew, you know, the situation. And, um, they said to me, are you going to give him a, the letter? And I was like, I don't know. I just feel like if I don't, I'll regret it because I'll never know if they want to like know us. So if anyone who's new here, I did my DNA and discovered my mum's dad was not her biological dad. Um, and because I knew another man's name, like as in a, an ex-boyfriend of my grandma, I was able to pretty quickly identify the family that we come from. So anyway, that's... <laughs> oh God, this bit of hair, i driving me nuts at the moment. How foul for. But that's basically <laughs> it in a nutshell. Anyway, so I... um. I went over and my friend came with me <laughs> and I said, oh, hi, and mentioned his name. He was very friendly and um, he said, hello. I said, I was wondering if I could give you something. And he's like, what is it? <laughs> Don't blame him. <laughs> and I said, oh, it's just a letter that I, I wrote to you. And he goes, oh, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> um, and then I said something so dumb because I was so nervous. I said... I hope you know that I'm giving it to you with joy. Oh my God, what a loser, <laughs> with joy. I couldn't get the words out. I wanted to say like, it's making me happy to be able to see you and give you this, but <sighs> he must've just thought I was so weird. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> so anyway, he took it. <laughs> and then he asked who my friend was and I introduced her and he asked her if she'd been there before and she said yes and then he asked me and I said no and he kind of looked at me like okay <laughs> in some ways I think maybe he knew um because I had attempted to reach out on social media before that and so uh, like through his wife and so at that stage I was unsure whether she had ever seen the message because it was on Facebook but when he kind of looked at me like oh okay um I got the feeling like maybe he knew who maybe I was, you know? Anyway, took the letter, didn't open it. He put it inside his like drum bag. And then I wondered whether he ever opened it, to be honest with you, um, until fairly recently. And I reached out to, a, to someone else about him because I have a friend who's like a mutual friend of their family. Anyway, we won't go into that one today. If you want to know, I'll tell you the story. But, um, where it's at so I guess just know that wherever we are today enjoy the day and know that you're creating the footsteps that your descendants are going to follow in and I hope for your sake somebody looks into your life the way I'm looking into the lives of those that came before me that I don't know too much about <laughs> anyway this was a pretty random one wasn't it hi